I'm Kim, creator of CustomDollBaby.com and the shopper's guide at CustomDollBaby.com. Lifelike baby dolls are quite an investment and the purpose of this shopper's guide is to empower new and experienced collectors with the information that you need to make wise and well-informed purchase decisions. One aspect of the shopping process that can be very confusing is understanding the difference between belly plates and back plates versus full vinyl torso dolls or full body silicone dolls. So today little Elizabeth is here to help me explain belly plates and back plates, what they are and are not. Before we begin, I need to warn you that many of these parts are anatomically correct. So they contain um, accurately sculpted or even 3D printed um, male and female genitals. So to avoid getting flagged for nudity on YouTube when we get to the parts where I need to show you the gendered um, belly plates, we'll come back over to my website at customdollbaby.com. So be sure to look for the link at the end of this video to get you to the rest of the content. Most lifelike baby dolls are made of vinyl or silicone. They typically have head, arms, and legs made of vinyl or silicone, a soft material. And they have a dose weight or otherwise fabric cloth body. Elizabeth has one of the new real born bodies, which has the added realism of a gathered chest and rear area. This baby, it's what's considered a doll that has three quarter final arms and full legs. So there are no joints for the legs, but there is a joint for the arm and the doll needs to wear a t-shirt in order to have the cloth body covered. By contrast, Little Promise here by Marita Winters is considered to have full vinyl arms and full legs. So when this doll is dressed, the clothing, short sleeved outfit should not show any cloth body. Belly plates are designed to sit on top of the cloth body to create the appearance of baby skin on the torso. So this is what's called a front plate or a belly plate. Comes all the way up to the shoulders, but it doesn't attach to anything in the rear, meaning that this plate is only visible on the top of the doll. If you have a doll with a belly plate, you'll have to be very careful posing the doll because everywhere the belly plate is absent, the cloth body is visible. So you'll need little outfits or blankets that cover where the cloth body continues to be visible. So if we add a little hospital gown and a diaper, The edges of the belly plane are no longer evident. So very careful posing and dressing will allow a belly plate to add realism to your doll. Belly plates come in many different shapes and sizes. This is what we would consider a generic belly plate. It stops just beyond the navel. And it only covers the top part of the doll. So this gives you the chest and the belly without any of the, the genital area. As you can see, the cloth body is still visible on the shoulders, it's still visible under the belly plate. So the belly plate is not going to make your doll look like a full vinyl torso. And we'll talk more about that in the second half. 
When you're shopping for belly plates, there are several things that you want to keep in mind. The first is that the belly plate should be compatible with the size of the doll. So a belly plate that is too large or too small is going to distract from the overall realism of the doll. Secondly, the belly plate should, plate should be painted to match the rest of your doll. So if you're getting the belly plate separate from the doll, you need to make sure that you or someone is going to paint it to match the rest of the doll. Ideally, the belly plate would be painted at the same time as the doll so that the flushing and complexion would all be compatible with each other. So this would be a little suspicious of belly plates you see on the market. They're being sold by themselves because it's very difficult to guarantee that the plate you receive is going to match the doll that you have if they were never painted together or painted to match one another. But finally, the belly plate should be made out of the same material as the rest of the vinyl parts. So if your head, arms, and legs are made of silicone, your belly plate should also be made of silicone. If your doll is made out of vinyl, you want the belly plate to also be made out of vinyl. So that way the parts are all compatible with one another. When you're working with your life like doll artist, you should be given the option to have your belly plate attached or separate. Belly plates typically have holes in them that allow the belly plate to be sewn to the doll, to back plate, or to both. If you have any touch enhancements in your cloth body, such as a heartbeat, silicone baby fat, silicone fat pellets, I don't recommend having your belly plate sewn to the cloth body because you can't feel these added enhancements through the belly plate. However, if you don't have any of these extra enhancements on your doll, it would be just fine to have the belly plate attached permanently to the cloth body so that when you're dressing and changing the doll, you don't have to worry about repositioning the belly plate every single time. As I mentioned, the second part of this video does involve nudity, so please, if you're not already on my website, come on over to customdollbaby.com, click on the link, and we will continue our discussion of belly plates. We're gonna start talking about back plates as well as how gendered belly plates work. Mm -hmm.